Hey all, welcome to the Institute in this week's top 10 list. Now we've been looking at top 10 series or lines from specific companies like Mezco, Palisades, uh, NECA, uh, we did McFarland. So today we're going to look at uh, a line from a company that I have uh, collected a whole lot of stuff from over the years. They're an old company, been around forever, still cranking out the great stuff, Diamond Select Toys. Down here, we're going to start with number 10, Avatar. Now, a couple of companies, of course, over the years have done Avatar figures. Bandai did a line, as I recall, back when the cartoon was originally aired. And then, of course, McFarlane has recently done a line, but these from uh, Diamond Select are my favorite. I don't know that we're getting any more. I think they've given up on the line. And, of course, Appa there is not... Diamond Select, that's actually McFarlane, but I picked that up because it looked like it went nicely in scale with, or as close as you were going to get with the rest of this series. So, number 10, Avatar. Now, you're not going to see in my top 10 one of their best lines, simply because I'm not a big fan of Marvel. So, if you're looking for Marvel Select, which is, of course, one of their huge lines, it's not going to be in my top 10. In the number 9 spot are the Legends... 3D busts. These legends in 3D, these are this is a cool line. There's Indiana Jones up there, and we walk over here, you'll see a couple more of them that I've got. Harlequin and Joker in the animated style. These things are fantastic. They're about third scale. Uh, not quite as huge as a one-to-one -one scale bust. The price is uh, not quite as bad as you'll pay for a one-to-one -one scale bust, but they are gorgeous. And if you put them all together, although they're all different kinds of licenses, they look really good together. So that's a recommendation. If you haven't checked those out yet, make sure you go check them out. And they're getting my number nine spot. My number six spot you saw in the busts line, the 66 Batman series. Uh, I love this series of busts because we got some really unusual characters that we don't normally get. Quality wasn't amazing, but that also kept the price point down. This is something that you could actually pick up pretty reasonable still if you're a big fan of the 66 Batman show. And it gets my number eight spot. If you watched my uh, favorite bust lines, this uh, set did even better in that series, in that video. So we're going to take a long walk to get to number seven, way over on the other side of the building. Uh, how's your day? My day was pretty good. And over here we have Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So... Diamond Select did some fantastic toys. Plan B did the sculpting on that library playset, but that was also Diamond Selected, that fantastic playset. There's some more action collectibles mixed in here too, but most of these figures are Diamond Select. And they gave us all kinds of great variations as well as characters, both A, B, and C in the series. So, easily getting my number seven. And that library playset, that is one of the best playsets ever produced. So we're going to come around this side and look at number six. One of the great things about Diamond Select Toys lines tends to be the great accessories you get with them. Up here we've got the Munsters. Yeah, NECA recently did the uh, Revival Munster show, but the majority of these from the old show, these are all Diamond Select. And one of the great things you get with Diamond Select is you often get build the dioramas and here we have, with the Munster set, came this terrific set of stairs that opens up and spots down inside there. Isn't that cool? That's Spot's collar there on the chain. So yeah, that was a build-a-diorama build a that came with the Munsters. Like I said, that's not uncommon for Diamond Select lines. You'll soon see that again with another one here in a minute. But first, we're going to take another long walk. Oh, because you know I didn't get my steps in today. And we're going to come way over here to the adventure section and look at their Lord of the Rings line. This is getting number five. This is an ongoing line. We still are getting figures in this series. And I'm going to keep going with it. Quality is better than the old Toy Biz line. And obviously we've got a long ways to go to get anything near the kind of quantity the Toy Biz produced over the years. But it's still a pretty good start. And they're not crushing it like with, you know, a million releases at once. So if you're looking for something that you can pick up where you're only getting a couple of figures every couple of months, every four months maybe, then this is kind of something you might want to check out. Number four is another uh, series that you saw in another video. That would be the animated series busts from Diamond Select. 
I uh, gave these guys a hard time in the beginning when they were first releasing these. The quality was kind of hit or miss. But you know what? The price point on these was excellent. And the longer I've had them, the more I have loved this series. Covered all of the animated shows, everything from the Justice League to uh, Superman the Animated Series and, of course, Batman the Animated Series. And they did a really nice job with it. So, it's number four. Now, remember I said that uh, one of the great things about uh, some of these um, Diamond Select lines is you get these great, really cool play sets. And that's going to be true with number three. And the reason it's on this list is largely because of the great play sets. Ghostbusters. So, Ghostbusters, lots of companies have done them. The uh, library ghost there, that is a... Uh, Diamond Select, but here is, there are Mattel figures on this shelf mixed in with Hasbro figures, mixed in with Diamond Select figures, mixed in with NECA figures, these taller ones. They tend to, Diamond Select tend to be in a 7-inch scale. But what you really got was that excellent rooftop play set there. That was a build, a, a diorama where you bought enough of the figures and you put it together. And you come around this side, again, the real Ghostbusters here in the larger scale, those are all Diamond Select. And you had the excellent playset for the front of the firehouse. And most of the figures here in the front of that are Diamond Select. Another great diorama set. I had to open them up. I had those all carded. You know, Just check and see how much those real Ghostbusters are carded. But I had to open them up to put that playset together. It was just driving me nuts. So that's number three. Fantastic playsets. Number two is another current line that they're working, Muppets. We've got a few more of these coming out this year. And uh, I've been keeping up with these. They're not the uh, Palisades Muppets, but they're not trying to be. They're a different scale, smaller, nicely detailed, fun little line. And if you haven't started picking them up yet, you should still be able to pick up most of them pretty cheap. Put it in the Statler. I'm hold it back here. And they get the number two spot. But the number one spot is really easy. Remember, if you do Universal Monsters, you're probably going to do well on one of my lists. And Diamond Select did some terrific Universal Monsters. You see uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde there. You see the Phantom of the Opera with the, again, great accessories came with the organ. As you go down across tier, mixed in with some of the Universal Monsters from Sideshow are uh, the Diamond Select versions of things like the Hunchback from Notre Dame, Creature from the Black Lagoon. They did a marvelous job, Metaluna Mutant. Some of these, you can see, are really excellent. And we, I've even got some carded examples up here, so you can see how they looked with uh, the deluxe versions that had the larger dioramas. So that's number one, Universal Monsters. Those are my top 10 Diamond Select lines. What are your top 10? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe on uh, until Wednesday when we do another favorite collection. Have a great one.